Why do we fart? That was disgusting. To get to the bottom of this, I decided to contact an expert. Caleb, hello. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> uh, the kids were just watching you before, so great to see you. Okay, so you, you fart a lot. Yeah. Okay. Great, okay, I'm so glad it's this. <laughs> Why do we fart? Okay, so, um, but I'm, I, I don't think, um, it's definitely to do with types of food and their reaction in your stomach. Yeah, somewhat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I'm not a fart expert. Uh, that's all I know. Well, uh, Nat was useless, so I decided to contact a real expert. Hello, Dr. Carl, how are you? Ahoy, Dr. Luke, lovely to be with you. Take two. Luke. <laughs> uh, take it from the top. Hey, Dr. Carl, how are you? Pretty good. Thank you very much, Dr. Carl. Love to be with you again. <laughs> it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Now, let's start with the big question. Why do we fart? Fart? Uh, firstly, it's nothing to be embarrassed about. Everybody farts. You may as well be embarrassed about having two legs or two arms. An average of seven times a day for a female person, about 12 for a male. Males have got more mass. Why do we fart? Well, we've got gas in the system that is generated there. That gas is basically two thirds swallowed air. Basically, when we eat, we not only take in food, but lots of air. That air has gases like oxygen and nitrogen, which build up in our digestive tract and eventually need to escape. Some of it heads back up as a burp. The rest heads down through our intestine and comes out as a fart. But it's not just the air. The bacteria living in our body also creates gases. One third of the fart gas comes from bacteria in the large intestine and they generate methane and other chemicals as part of their just normal digestion. Most of the gases that our body makes in the large intestine don't actually have a smell. Things like carbon dioxide, methane and hydrogen. The thing that gives farts their smell are sulphur compounds like hydrogen sulphide, which smells like rotten eggs. So if you've got lots of foods that are rich in sulphur compounds, you can then turn them into these stinky sulphur compounds. Foods with high amounts of sulphur are things like cabbage, beef, pork, broccoli, asparagus, eggs. But Dr. Carl has some tips if you want to get rid of that smell. The one way to get around it is to stir fry your food because that tends to break down the chemicals into smaller chemicals that won't generate the fart gas or also um, soak them in water. So next time you pass wind, take a deep breath and think about all the science that's going into your nose. I gotta go. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something new about farting. If you did, why don't you hit subscribe? Also, head to our socials. We've got TikTok and Instagram. Follow us there. Bye.